Hi, I'm David and welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're going to cover off the lithium so what after fitting all that what do we use it for so let's take a look So we spent quite a lot of money there fitting the lithium battery and all of the associated bits and pieces. Now that we've fitted it, so what? What does it allow us to do? Well, the first thing is it gives us the ability to go off grid longer. We should be able to get a good week off grid when we need to. So if you fancy going to a festival or something like that or an event or a rally, we don't have to worry about the battery running down. And especially with a bit of solar top up, you potentially even get longer than that. So that's the first thing. It gives us more longevity without needing to get a hookup. And I'm not saying that we will always go without hookup because we don't, as you'll have seen on some of our journeys. But it's about having that option and flexibility. The second one is when we're traveling around, I'm a bit of a coffee fiend, so I quite like to stop for coffee. So I'll pull over in a lay-by, in a car park, outside somewhere, wherever it happens to be, doesn't really matter. Um, but you're not going to plug in to hook up and it's a bit of a chew on kind of sorting the gas out all of the time. And it's wasteful of resources because um, I find the electricity I'm using generally, if I'm dotting about not having a huge period off grid, is actually being replenished by the solar panel and by driving so it's not really kind of costing anything to plug in and hook, hook up at a home or anywhere like that. Uh, Rachel likes a coffee as well which tends to go for instant whereas I'm going for the pod stuff but we can make both in the machine. So that just makes it nice quick and simple and we're only warming the water we need and we're not wasting gas or using gas to actually boil the water up in that situation. So we make a cup of coffee see there that's drawn about 133 amps off the battery. So there we go. Nice cup of coffee made in the coffee maker without being on hook up. Cheers. Mmm, delicious. So that's the second is being able to make a coffee. The third one is it's quite handy if you're going somewhere, especially if it's a Friday night after work or a Thursday night after work, whenever it happens to be, is to actually take a ready meal that you can microwave. And some of the places we're starting to look at, you wouldn't have the facility of hookup. So being able to use the microwave to warm up a meal rather than having to cook one on, on the hob or whatever um, and it's not for everyone appreciate some people um, don't like microwaves but it gives you the option then to do that so if I, I can make breakfast lunch or dinner or tea if you're from north in the microwave I can still use the hob I can still use the oven I can still barbecue it just gives an extra option there to be able to do that so go with a cup of coffee, I think we'll have some chips. So let's chuck them in the microwave. So we need to put them in for one minute, then we need to remove and shake them and then bob them back in. So let's do that now. So we're drawing about 120 amps there um, as it went through. See, it's dropped right back now. <laughs> so we needed to give them a shake. And then we need to put them in for another 1 minute 20 seconds. So let's do that. Thank you. 
So there we go. The chips are ready. So let's open them up. And then let's put a bit of sauce on them. There we go. And I think we'll have a bit of vinegar as well. So there we go. In under five minutes, we've got a cup of coffee. Nice cup of coffee. And we've got chips with tomato sauce and vinegar. How about that? Who says you can't? Obviously, you can make much nicer meals than this. This is all I had in the uh, freezer that, that, that was handy rather than making a full kind of meal. But you get the gist. So there we go. So we're now going to make ourselves a slice of toast. Off grid. Well, two slices actually. Why not? So we're drawing about 85 amps when the toaster's running. It's not too bad there. So we shouldn't be long with the toast now. We'll just wait for that to pop up. For reference, there's a two slice Russell Hobbs toaster and uh, seems to do a good job. It's got the digital controls on the side there. So you can adjust the browning level, defrost bread, and of course, pop it up if you want. There we go. One, two slices of toast. Just whap a bit of butter on that, and I think we're good. Toast. And we used about four amp hours making those two slices, just for reference. Another thing you can do with the inverter and the lithium battery. Um, the other thing it gives the option to do is if you've got electric bikes, you can plug in and charge up. Um, often bring the battery in if you use the electric bike. And mine's one from the previous generation. I know lots of people are getting these at the moment. So, so I had the electric bike battery plugged in on charge for an hour and it used six amp hours and it's got a 10 amp hour battery and it's about 80% full because I had 20% in when we started. So I think you'd be looking probably 11 amp hours with inefficiency to charge it up out of your battery. We just plugged it in with the charger back up and running. Switch that on. See, we're all ready to go. So that's the electric bike charging up. So as well as charging the electric bike, somebody said, could you charge an electric car with it? Well, let's find out, should we? Right, so here we've got a car charging port, which we'll plug into the car. That's plugged in there now. See that? Let's just follow the wire back. It's along here, following this orange wire. And we coil round here and up. And there we go, plugged in and running on the inverter from the van. 100% charged. How about that? Yes, it was 99% when we plugged it in, but it's topped it up by the rest. So that's as fully charged. Remove that. Put it back. Close it up. So there we go. Yes, you can charge an electric car with it, Albeit, I don't think it's the most sensible thing to do because we're going to deplete the battery very quickly. I don't even think we get a full charge on it. We'd probably get halfway before the battery empties. But, yes, you can. Certainly charge your electric bike, though. Um, i say perfect for that. Just plug your charger in and away you go. You could, of course, for the electric bikes, get a DC to DC rather than an AC to DC charger to save needing to use the inverter. But it's certainly a way um, of uh, doing it where you can just plug in the manufacturer's charger rather than getting anything uh, creative because they're pretty expensive, the batteries on those, as we know. That's another thing you can do there. So that's charging other batteries up um, and also charging your gadgets up. Um, so very handy for that. Albeit, I don't think that's the kind of amazing thing. I think most, most setups can do that, just given the relatively low power. We can run the laptop, as we saw in one of the uh, videos. We just plug it in, and away we go. 
and I'm running that on a, you could obviously run it off the inverter, but I'm running it on a DC to DC charger for that one, just to make sure we get the most efficiency. And I tend to put the inverter on when we need to use it, rather than leaving it on all of the time, if that makes sense. There's also then, uh, we can run the telly, um, we can run the sound bar, we can run any other electrical bits and pieces that we so desire to. If you wanted an electric barbecue to run that, you could plug that in and, and run that one as well. Um, if you want an uh, in, induction hob, um, you can plug that in and run it too. Uh, you can run the hob on the cooker, the electric hob, again to save gas. So lots of opportunities there. And I think one thing I'm considering doing is actually doing a, a small mod so I can run the water heater on electric if I ever get stuck and run out of gas or don't want to actually use it on gas where we're only where a night or two and you just want to keep the water topped up. Clearly it's quite a big consumer of power that and to keep the water heated up. Now over to Rachel, what are you using it for? I'm really loving the ability that I can actually take my proper hair dryer, not one of them little poop 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 ones, and actually dry my hair. Here we go. So not only could I bring my proper hair dryer from home, I was also able to bring my proper straighteners as well and able to use them just the same as I would at home. Absolutely amazing. Game changer. Really is a game changer. There's limitless possibilities uh, really in terms of how you might want to use it. But there's just some ideas. So what it's actually given us is the ability to do things we couldn't previously. That's namely through the inverter, but in order to make that efficient, the lithium battery gives enough capacity to start to do things such as make a microwave meal. And of course, if you were using that with a single lead acid battery and you had two to make because you wanted one each, you're pretty much going to have depleted the usable capacity of that. Whereas with this, we've got loads of capacity so we don't need to worry too much obviously if you were going away for a week and start wanting microwave meals and things like that you've got to kind of balance it off in contrast but certainly if you're away for a few days at a rally or something like that stick stuff in the freezer and away you go the other bit is running the fridge uh, in this particular vehicle and in this range they have a 12 volt compressor fridge which uses a fair bit of power and it's also got tank heaters on this one as well for the winter to stop the fresh and waste tank freezing. So you can obviously uh, use those as well for longer. So if you decide to go down that route, it just gives you a view of the extra things that open up to you when you've installed that. And again, it's not for everybody. You've got to think this through and say, am I going to get the use out of it? Is it something I really want? And is it going to be a game changer for me? If it isn't, don't bother. Um, but it depends on what you use, where you go, and how much comfort you want over and above what you get as standard. But it's personal choice. The choice you make is the right choice for you. I've certainly not regretted it. I'm really happy with the setup. And for me, it's been a game changer because it allows me to do things I wouldn't be able to do Oh, the effort involved was too great and I couldn't be bothered to do. So that's the lithium setup, the inverter, and all of the things brought together. That's how it's made a difference for me. Please let us know in the comments if you've got any other great ideas on, on what to do. Where do you take it next? Or what else can you run that's been a game changer for you? So you let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Whether you think it's uh, we're, we're nuts for doing it. Well, it's me that's nuts really, isn't it? Um, so whether you think I'm nuts for doing it or whether you think it's a really clever idea and whether you th think it, it's something that would work for you or whether you're quite happy with what you've got. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll catch you on the next one. 
Bye.